Chapter free, chapter free, chapter free. Ch Technically, it's chapter free of chapter one, isn't it? Because you know the file is called Higurashi When They Cry Part One, I believe. Let me have a quick show. Episode one, and there's like eight episodes. So yeah, there, there is a ton of things. So, so eight episodes. Um, and this is chapter two out of what I'm assuming is ten chapters. So we're not really that far in. We're like. 1% in, I haven't done the maths yet of course, but it feels like we're 1% in of the overall story, so we're still quite a ways away, you know, uh, which is good, which is 2% actually, I think, 2% in, if there are 10 chapters, you know, sorry, if there are 10 episodes and there are 10 chapters, 100 in total, we're done to 100, you know, 2 out of 100, we're 2% in, give or take, if it is indeed 10 episodes, I don't know, I've only got the first episode installed, I will have to do the second, third and fourth and sixth and so on and so forth but, um, when I get to it, ladies and gentlemen, but we're going to continue, it is quite warm, so if you see me sweating, you know why, um, we're going to continue. A Colonel Randy, as it says here. Colonel Randy. Load that. One second. Load. Yeah, yeah, just making sure. I'm like, again, Pokemon, when I was a young lad, a wee young lad, taught me a lot of hard lessons that you could save 10 times, and then your battery gave out, your, your save battery, and your files would be gone. But it also taught me that you need to make sure when you read something, you make sure that you read it properly. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. We're reading it properly. Yes, it says load, not delete, not save. It says load. Why is there no button? F oh, well, load. Load data, yes. Okay. Why is that? Oh, we're on the same. We're on 40, right? We were on 40 earlier. But why was that so loud? So we're going to turn it down to 30, damn it. This is like ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how loud it is for you, Lord, ladies and gentlemen. It shouldn't really change. Uh, even if I put it down to like zero, I think. Yeah, it doesn't change for you, Lord, at all. Like, cause it's all done via OBS. So for you, Lord, it will all be the same volume. Uh, for me, it's like super loud and super quiet and super loud and super quiet and super loud and super quiet. It's just like, brah. Make your mind up, son. Make your mind up. But hey, we're here with chapter 3. 3% three of the story so far. Ah. Uh, Colonel Randy? Ah, uh, of course. That's right up her alley. I understand her wanting to take home Satoko and Rika-chan. But I can't understand the Colonel Randy. What's good about that four right geezer? Probably better to hear it from Rana, don't you think? She'll probably lose sail because it's so kawaii though. Thus, Rena often goes to the construction site to hunt for treasure? Question mark? Every now and then, she says she's going to have a look. But a girl her age rummaging around in garbage is... well... If Rena enjoys it, then I think it's fine. What were they doing over there? Dumb construction? It had been bugging me since yesterday. Like an itch. I couldn't scratch. I don't know. Hard to reach place, I guess. Eh, like that. There you go. <laughs> it was cancelled a long time ago. Everybody gathered together and fought against it. Viva la revolution. Hearing an ominous word like fought come from Rika Chan's mouth stuck startled me. That's right. It was unbelievable. 
and they said Hinamizawa would be sunk into the reservoir and we had no say in the matter. Okay. So I'm only able to be here because the protest succeeded. What? what? Nice. Komene, komene. Actually, it's more like komene, kome. Like the pronoun, the the accent on like the ne. Komene, kome. I I don't know. Okay, I, I'm butchering. It's like three words. Go me ne, and I can't even say it probably. Komene. I don't know. I didn't keep you, did I? Did I? Actually, one other thing that was very crucial that we learned that I didn't even talk about was the fact that um, Rena only moved to this area in a year ago I believe they said so um, that was very interesting because um, obviously the assumption was that she had been here for you know years decades you know but no she's actually relatively new as well herself which is you know very fascinating um, I'm sorry I'm sorry I didn't keep you did I my deepest apologies Keiji san it took me a while to pad my nose Sadako. Wait to use a can until you really have to go. It's a lot easier since it shoots out right out. Since it shoots right out. Oh my. unparalleled beauty such as myself. Who was she calling a maiden? If Satoku really was a maiden, she wouldn't have reacted like that. Checkmate. The usual hijinks in short, in short ensued. Now then. Gentlemen, in accordance with the rules of our society, I bring a point of discussion. He, Keiichi, my barakun, wishes to be included as a member of an activity, so what say you? No. She's gonna say yes. I'm gonna have no objection. Satoko's gonna say no. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. I wonder if the likes of this peasant is up to the task. Emphasis on peasant. Me and Sadako both approve. The free. That's a Mion had queried her voice their approval. Nice. A Yonaman. Uh, uh, I can't say that word. A Yon Animus. 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 Damn it. Forget. Decision. Congratulations. Screw it, alright. Congratulations, Skaichi. My Barakun. Damn it. I keep dropping my phone today. I present you the honor of being allowed to take the entrance exam for our club. There's an entrance exam. Oh my, look at them. All formal and so how did you pass me on? <laughs> Start from the beginning. I didn't say I would join. What club is this? What our club does, you see, in order to cope with our complicated society, we perform various activities under different sets of rules. Sometimes, sometimes, they are in your favor. And sometimes, they work against you. Sounds like Monopoly. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty weak, so I prefer if you didn't single me out. Let's try to get along. Okay. You are so naive, Rena. Every time I think of Rena, actually, no, I won't. I won't say the name. Spoiler, because I know some, and I know one person that watches these videos. The person that, that got me to start this. So I won't spoil anything. You're so naive, Rena. Ugh, I keep front clicking. You're so naive, Rena. The law of the jungle is survival of the fit. Oh my. This was starting to sound a bit sketchy. So what kind of club was it? Monopoly club plot or something, something like that. Mm. 
Monopoly Club or something like that. Damn, I'm always spot on. To sum it up, it's a club where we play games together. Rika-chan was the only one to answer my question with a pertinent response. So basically, this club put Mion's hobby of collecting games to use. So, hey, it's perfect. I'm a master of Monopoly. Sign me up by, play by playing these various games that Mion had hoarded every day. Hey, this sounds, this, sounds, this sounds like a great club. It seemed that depending on the day, there are prizes for the winner or a penalty for the person who finishes in line. Let's go. Sign me up. I'll make this clear right now. We aren't playing house here. Well, you should treat each win or loss as if your life depends on it, all right. What's wrong with having just fun? Don't make it sound so crazy. She wants people to take it seriously, that's all. The first rule of our society, aim only for the first place. Yeah, I 100% agree with that, to be totally honest. Go down at half first just because it's a game. I 100% agree with that, actually, to be honest. Rule number dos of our society. For that reason, you're obligated to make all possible efforts. The way Satoko said it, it sounded like she was saying, use any means necessary. We saw that in the previous chapter, the picnic chapter, that they'll use whatever is necessary, whatever means necessary to win. And you know what? I agree. I agree. Like that has always been my view on life. Go all out or go home. Use any means necessary. Exactly. I agree, Satoko-chan. Of course, I will do my best too. Pretty weak, but I'm trying my best. I knew what they were trying to say. They used to be there. They constantly did lose us. That's what they're trying to say. In a game where everybody's aiming for the top, it's rather unsportsmanlike like to play just for fun. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It's called sandbagging, and I don't like it. All right, did I too? We'll go out, all out. With that. I was finally able, 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 did I just say able when it said ready? Did I just say able when that said ready? With that, I was finally ready for the rite of initiation, my baptism into the club. A word of warning, Kei-chan. Rena can get pretty nasty. The initiation looks like it's going to be rough. It's going to be some uh, some stupid initiation, isn't it? Mion began fishing around in the student lockers in the back of the room. They have the games here at the school? Well, it's a club equipment, so I guess that's fine. Complicated games will put Kei-chan at a disadvantage. Fun story that I don't think I've ever actually mentioned. Uh... I'm terrible at card games, in general, right, hear me out, I'm terrible at card games in general, um, and I, I can't even say that to be honest, I'm terrible at traditional card games in general, but when it comes to like trading card games such as Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Pokemon trading card games, um, so on and so forth, I'm actually pretty, pretty good honestly. Um, I'm not that. I'm not the most creative person, but like I, I can build troll decks, uh, and that's kind of how I always. That, I'm not good at building like traditional good decks, but more so troll decks, and I'm very, very good at creating them because I just like trolling people, I guess, or making them suffer as much as possible. Not by winning outright, but by just making them suffer, making ha having to stall them out or something like that. I, I'm quite proficient at that. Um, but there is one card game. I won't. I won't even mention what card game it is. Uh, but there's one traditional card game that I'm actually very, very good at. And the reason for that is because I used to play it every Christmas and every summer. Uh, and it was always a money game. So it was always me playing with money um, against other people. 
um, at, at, at like bars and clubs and uh, pubs and so on and so forth. So I got a lot of experience like playing one particular card, card game um, and to the point where I actually earned, entered a tournament. And I didn't do too good. I did relatively well. Um, I, I think I, I made like, take the last 16 or something like that out of like two, 300 people. So it was quite, a, I don't know whether that's a massive or not granted. Cause usually I just play at the pub, so it's, it's massive for that scale. But like, just in general, I was like, I felt pretty good. Um, and there's actually, you can play the game online as well. There's a website to play it online. Um, you can play it for real money as well. I actually, for, for a while, when I had my betting phase, um, that phase is um, over. Is it now? I don't know. Um, it, it's over, but it started like two months ago. It started again two months ago. It was over for like the last four years, but it started, well, two years. But it started again two months ago until it just quit because everything, every thing that you could bet on just basically stopped. <laughs> but uh, I used to go on the website quite a lot and to play, um, to play for money. And I realized very quickly that when it comes to money, a lot of people do stupid things. Like when you just play for fun or whatnot, people just... They're calm, composed, so on and so forth. But when, it, when there's pressure, like when there's pressure, there's so many people crack under pressure. I'm, I'm oh, always reveling pressure. Um, so I hope Kei-chan is, um, what should I call it? Resistant to pressure. Because I know I am. Uh, I, I, I love, I generally perform much better under pressure, which is quite a good thing to have, honestly. Um, but I hope that's the case for him. I don't know what kind of game, granted they said complicated games would be at Kate, but put care at a disadvantage. Who knows, maybe chess? Is, would people consider chess complicated? I don't know. Solitaire? Spider Solitaire? Mayong? Uh, blackjack? Poker? Strip Poker? I don't know. But it would put him at a disadvantage. So let's see what, what, what uncomplicated game it is. So today, we'll play a game that you should be familiar with. Connect 4. Okay, okay, I feel I feel like everything I'm saying, right, I feel like it's coming true. First of all, I started the last video with, oh, they call me Mr. X because of that, and then in, in, in the visual novel, it was like, Mr. X, 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 like, huh? And what was the second thing? It was another thing that I said, and then, like, it instantly came true. Uh, what was the second thing? There was a second thing that I said, and then, like, the next line or two lines after that, it's like, oh, yeah. And exactly what I said. I can't remember what it was, but it was something. And now the third thing is card games. I was talking about card games, and they're going on about standard card game. Come on, man. I'm, I'm, they, should call, they should call this this thing, they should call Higurashi, they should call it Prince when they cry. Or, or, or Mr. X reacts when they cry. Whatever, but they should name it after me. Like Old Bachelor. Alright, let's do it. Are we going to get the... I've never heard of Old Bachelor, to be honest. You can't really get into it unless there's a penalty. Spin the bottle. This time the loser will be sentenced. I'm gonna face drawn. What do you think? Yeah, that's a, that's a mild punishment. You can draw on my face all you want. Wow. You won't be a permanent marker, right? Permanent marker is not permanent, dear. Once you sweat, it's all it all disappears. It's it's like super glue. It all disappears once you sweat. I would know. Uh, I had permanent marker in quite a few places. Um, a little sweat, 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 and it's gone. Right. Permanent. She wants to draw on her faces with permanent marker. I hope Satoko loses. <laughs> I, I, I hope I, I hope she loses. That is perfect. Satoko cheered the idea on. She didn't even flinch at the thought of such severe penalty. That's not that severe, bruv. It seemed like she was raring to go. Maybe she's a prodigy. If it's going to be like this, then I can't lose Eva. It's going to hit Rika or something. Oh, I don't have cards downstairs. Do so they're all upstairs. Or was I get back a deck of cards? I got like ten decks of cards just because you know, I, there was a point where I would try to learn like magic tricks. I've got like a book that has like hundred and one card magics, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna buy some magic decks, bought like ten packs or something, and it's like, ah, oh, let's, no, never mind, I'm too lazy. <laughs> That's basically what it boiled down to. Like, ah, oh, sounds interesting. Ah, never mind, too lazy. 
Now I'll just cut the deck and start dealing. She's my dealer now. Old bachelor is pretty much the same as old mate. Well done, okay. There's only one difference. There is no ch -ch -ch joke. I was gonna make an obvious One Piece reference here, but uh, old mate, Joker, you know the whole thousand beats, fat fat not beats, thousand beasts. I got an easy reference to make, but that's beneath me. The flamingo. In its place, one card is pulled out at the start. Okay, meaning there will be one card without a match left over at the end, and that's the loser. You don't know which card will end up being the Joker. It's <clears throat> You wanna know how I got these scars? My father. Ah, actually. <coughs> <coughs> you wanna know <coughs> yeah. You wanna know how I got these scars? My father was So one night, he comes home drunk, puts a little blade in my mouth, and says, smile for me, son, smile. And just a little bit, put, he put that smile on my face. So why don't we turn that smile upside down, he said. Now frown. No frown, so I grabbed that razor out of his hand and I struck him with it. I put that smile on his face and laughed at him. <laughs> Let's put a smile on that face. Uh, it's not how the quote goes, I know. It's actually my favourite movie of all time, The Dark Knight. Um, it's been, it's been such a long time since I, I've got like the collector's edition or whatever, but it's been such a long time since I, I actually have it, I have actually bought it like three times. I bought it like a long time ago with like my, what's it, what's what's it, what's the thing called? Like the Google, the survey thing. I'm sure anyone who has an Android phone knows what I'm talking about. Um, the Google survey thing where like you get the Google Play Store credit for doing like these stupid Google surveys. Um, and I bought like the Dark Knight a long time. I've still got it on my phone probably somewhere. Um, if I go to YouTube, um, sign in with my other YouTube, which is my anime, uh, Mr. X Reacts um, YouTube account. It should still be on here if I, if I know how to access it on like save movies and purchases. That's where it is. Yeah, yeah, The Dark Knight wasn't going to purchase. 2014. Um, I, I won't show it to you because obviously I have my email there. Um, I paid 10. Is it working? Yes, it is working. Oh my. It's been a long time. Drum. Drum, drum. Is it the scars? You wanna know how I got, got them? them? You wanna know how I got them? Like, come on, bruv. Oh, I need to rewatch that movie. My favorite movie of all time, honestly. The Joker is like my favorite character of all time, besides like Sherlock Holmes. I, I always go back and forth between those two. You can probably tell I like these psychos. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. It's a, it's a, it's a terrible Joker impression, honestly, and it, it, it hurts. It hurts discrediting the Joker like the way I am. But hey, I'm here discrediting the Joker the way I am. Um, but yeah, you don't know which card will end up being a joke. It's a pretty thrilling game. I'll take out the card now. Mion took out one card and left it face down on the table. Everybody stared at the card intently. <laughs> Well, it'll be pretty obvious in the end game. No way to tell at the start. Oh, she just flickered out, disappeared, instant transmission. But the rest of them were very serious. They didn't seem as relaxed as I was. They know the punishment and they don't want the punishment to happen to them. They compared their cards to the one face down, all the while gauging each other's reaction. The poker face. It was as if they could see what the face down card was. No, it couldn't be. Did they cheat? <gasps> this ah, uh, this deck is pretty. That's how. Well, that's what they're doing. They're cheating. This is OST. This deck is pretty worn out. No way. Can, damn it! <laughs> you're, you're already at a massive disadvantage. Can everyone tell by the scratches what the card on the table is? 
Remember the second we live aside, so do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. And Keiichi san must try his hardest to win as well. Uh, a number of cars are quite unique. Keiichi kun should be able to remember them pretty quickly. Well, you just have to read their poker face now. That's the that's the main thing. Read their poker face. She said that so matter of factly. Suits me fine. Don't think that a little thing like that can be your crutch. I lashed out angrily, but it was rather obvious I was at a disadvantage. After all, we had gone so fast to memorize the wear and tear for each individual card. This wasn't a simple game of old bachelor. If this was a test, then they were playing with their answer sheet in front of them, and the whole screen just flickers, oh my. Bread it! I'll take advantage of your carelessness and beat you at your own game. That baseless confidence would soon be cr- oh, no, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> How about I tell you you're starting hunt? Start your your hunt starting from the right. Three, four, well, San Yong Q Jack Queen. Well, it's not just some cards that are worn out. I'm guessing it's every card. You've lost, Katie. Huh. By the way, and the bachelor is the Jack of Diamonds. Yeah! I can tell what they are even if you switch them around. I am out. I thought I was prepared for it to be as brutal. Just don't worry. Me. Onis, you're all demons. Elena isn't a demon. Oh, you don't want to play nice? Nah, she's, even she's gonna sell you out, bro. Nah, nah. Sorry, Keichiko. It's that permanent marker. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. They tricked you. They got you. Number rule number two of society. You're screwed. That's the real rule. This is the three of hearts, isn't it? I'm out. Not even a hint of mercy. Rena. Even Rika-chan. Even Mrs. Kawaii. Kawaii! These club activities weren't to be trifled with. You gotta learn quickly, son. An alumnus of this club would definitely survive in the cruelest of situation. If our entire class had self-detonating collars strapped to their necks and were, adopt and were dropped into a death mat on a deserted island, these guys would probably take it to it Take to it like fish to water. Damn, son. This guy, I said, oh, say, this guy is a poet. I can already picture their joy as they hunt down each of their classmates. It's a lowest point system. The order itself dictates the points. Whoever has the lowest points total wins. Since Keiji finished last, he has five points. There's already a five marked down on my scoreboard. Massacre. Yeah, so do I. But it's the law of the jungle. I think it's unfair for Keiji to. If we don't, you on your deck. Nah. Jump out the window and run, never to be seen again. <laughs> That's what I would do. Nah, I wouldn't. You're the, you're, you're the game master here, right? You can turn the tables even if the odds are get stacked against him, right? It's fitting for a lowly peasant to scamper home and soak their pillow in tears, don't you think? A petite hand laid its head on top of my head, which was trembling from uncontainable frustration. It was the Rika chance. Nah, she's trying to get you. Nah, she wants you to keep fighting just because you lose that way. Keep on fighting, yeah. She's they're all tricking you. Thanks to Rika Chan's word of encouragement, I was able to calm down. You need to be calm, especially when you're cornered. That's the power 
I could muster during this crisis. Think clearly, Keiichi, my bad. Take your time and look at the cards carefully. It's just as Rena said, several of the cards have their own distinct markings, making them stand out. Memorizing them should be pretty simple. Think about what you can do in a situation. Try everything in your power to improve your chances of victory. Wow, great, Keiji kun Just like that. I covered. The uniquely marked cards of my hands are other cards, arranging them in such a way that they couldn't be seen. Hmm. The one of the rip corner should be the five. And I'm out. I couldn't let any of those precious hints slip by me. All information is a weapon. Use it to your advantage. Then it was my turn. Satoko fanned out her cards for me. You see, I want the seven. Is it in this one? I wonder about that. No poker face at all. You won't know unless you take it. There is a bit of dismay in her expression. Like she doesn't want to take it in that kind of expression. Remember though, she is the trickster, like Nas always gotten a prank on you, so I don't trust her. I won't let that momentary lap slip by me. I know it. It's this one. Got it. Seven of spades. A cheer of ooh rang out. Oops. Uh, there we go. What is this? The seven should be the hardest one of all to tell apart. It wasn't from memorizing the markets. The slight changes in the expressions as I was selecting card. Fair enough. Poker face and master. All information is key, vital, pivotal, <laughs> instrumental to winning this. This is obviously the game master. Can't hide it from me, Kei-chan. This mark means it's the two of diamonds. Huh? What? She was startled by her own misread. Of course, everyone else was too. Well, it's rare that Mei-chan gets a card wrong. Did he like flip the card? I don't know. <laughs> no! Kei-chan! Could it be you? Did he flip the card? They told him apart by different marks. That mark was a nail scratch. So I put <laughs> 500 IQ. 500 IQ, ladies and gentlemen, so I put a new one on it. Are you saying he disguised it as the Two of Diamonds? What an impressive show of wit. Checkmate. Clean hit. That's my free claps. That was an incredible match, you know. You know? Having defeated the foreign Myon, my brilliant butter left me ecstatic. But by total points, it was already set in stone that Myon would win and I would finish last. You proved your wits there. I laughed heartily, selecting the tone of my voice carefully to get on Myon's nerves. <laughs> Well, I'm going to end up the loser, but I'm satisfied with one upping me on a tent. Yeah. 
that should be to the proverbial slap in the face to Mion. He was at the top already and ensured victory. No! I, I mean, I read it, but I didn't do my Mion impression. Of course I do. But Mion. It's time to duel. Let's have a duel. One chance. Take it. If you win, then we'll swap first and last place. How about it? You up for it? She fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. A chance for an upset that wouldn't be possible without goading her into it. One chance, though. One chance, you say? That's all he needs. That's all my boy needs. Let me hear the rules. Mion discarded two cards from her hand and replaced one with the Joker card that was on the table, then shuffled the resulting hand behind her back. The card on my right or the card on my left? If Kei-chan can guess which hand the Joker's in, then he wins. It's probably in your pocket. When you turn around just now, you didn't pull out the Joker, did ya? That's not. Uh, she's avoiding the answer. Uh, if you lose, I'll show the card in the other hand. That's okay. The other three gulped <coughs> nervously at this unexpected turn of events. All right, you've got it. Remember rule number two, son. Whatever it takes. Mion grabs one card in each hand and thrust them out at me. First, I needed to inspect them closely. The card on the right had no distinguishing marks, I couldn't tell which one it was. Which one, I wonder? Keichikun, be careful! Uh, which one do y'all think? Which one do y'all think, ladies and gentlemen? Is it left or is it the right? Oh. He's gonna lose this. Yeah, she probably threw the card away. Yeah, of course! This is my chance for a big comeback! Looking closely at the cards on the left, I saw a little weird. It wasn't one I had seen before. Uh, I didn't let that little bit from Satoko slip by me. Mion clucked her tongue. I didn't recognize the mark on the left card from the small number that I had memorized. I didn't know what a left card was, but I could tell from Satoko's reaction that the card had already appeared during the game. Since it had already appeared before, and it meant it definitely wasn't the Joker. Mm -hmm. mm. Kei-chan Kei thinks it's the one on the right? No. no. Will you choose that one then? Will you? The left card definitely wasn't the Joker. If I could trust that theory, then I should have been able to declare that the card on the right was the No, 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 don't make the mistake, don't be too hasty. Even without Mion's taunting, the one on the right was the most suspicious. But wasn't it a bit too rushed to decide based solely on Satoko Syria? I like that. Man, I thinking 10 moves ahead. More carefully. Ah! I remember now. That mark, the left card, no doubt about it. The Seven of Clubs. It's a seven of clubs, I see. I've won. The card on the left was a seven of clubs. So that meant the card on the right was the Joker. And then just before my hand touched the right card, I froze. <laughs> the highs of highs and lows of lows, I'm pretty sure you've lost. Uh, there is a trickery going on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, he did figure it out. I would expect no less from you. There was a wave of murmurs amongst the onlookers at my sudden halt right before I confirmed the right card was a joker. Huh? What could Katie san possibly be saying? Go on, son. Go on, son. I'm in the left one, is go on, son. Shh. Shh. What it makes you so. What, ma what makes you so certain the right one isn't the Joker, Kei-chan? 
Mion let loose an unexpected question. Everyone else was baffled. I don't know what the card on the right could be. But I know that the one on the left is the Seven of Clubs. Then. Doesn't that leave the right one as the Joker? One of them has to be the Joker, right? Yeah. One of those is the Joker, right? It's like. Keiichi has good intuition. Huh? Rika-chan, what do you mean by... So basically, the Seven of Clubs, I discarded that by matching it with Satoko's Seven of Spades earlier. Everyone's attention snapped to the discard pile at the same time. For the extra marking on there. The truth of the matter couldn't be discerned from that sloppy pile. So that means it's a left. Mion pocketed one of the discarded cards and aligned it over the left card, and that means. I see. Wasn't it suspicious that, like, earlier they said three cards? And I was the whole time I was like thinking, you've got three cards, right? Why are they only talking about left and right? That only leaves option for two. Right? They did say three cards earlier, right? Because the whole time I was like thinking, they said three cards, right? Am I tripping? Have I got that wrong? Uh, maybe not. I get it. Yeah. It's over it. It's been a sky that the Seven of Clubs, right? It was the first time since the start of the match that a shadow ran across Mion's expression, and I didn't let that slip by. Then, with a grand flourish, I declared it loudly. What shouldn't be wrong? <laughs> that would be something. The Joker is the left one. It was an intense moment. That one second felt like an eternity for everyone there. Breaking that silence, the first one to speak was me on. On Bell, the first president of this club, I've been witness to a variety of performances. Ketchum. Yours is the best. The best of the best of the best. That was probably the greatest compliment Mion could give. Mion accepted her defeat, dropping the cards from both hands. My comeback victory! Hey, let's go. Rika chan placed her hand on my head and began petting it, congratulating me on my victory. Let's go. Huh? Rika chan is. Rena and Satoga gaped at us, as if they had seen a ghost. What is it, Rena? It's not that I cheat or anything, right? This was fair and square. He read his, he read the room and the opponents. Rika only pets on and I had to, con to console them. Huh? Mion tricked him, didn't he? What's the meaning of? At that moment, Rena let out a small shriek. Keijikon! This is how it was. It was a triple bluff. A triple bluff. You know, Keijikon. I thought you'd read into it that far. <laughs> she just checked me to you. Bruff. So you just checkmated you. You lost. Everyone froze. No, it was just me. It was a gamble. If you are just game master, it was a gamble. If you had just jumped to conclusions like a little brat, then I would have lost. You overthought it. It was the answer everyone was certain about. Mion picked up the card from the losing hand. Okay, chan you know you should take pride in this loss. She turned it around. That was the card that proclaimed the victory of this duel. The card under the seven of clubs. Unbelievable. It was the two of diamonds. It was a setup behind the setup. If I had just picked the right one without reading so deeply into it. 
I, Mion Sonosaki, as the club president, do accept. Keiji, my better son's membership into our club. As I slumped to my knees, dazed, everybody let out a round of applause for the excellent effort I gave despite my defeat. The match is now over. Today's victor is me, Mion Sarasaki, and our exalted loser is Keiji Maibara. Everyone made a commotion, applauding cheerfully. It felt, I felt, I was bested, but I was so soundly beaten that it was unexpectedly felt rather refreshing. That it would, that it unexpectedly felt rather refreshing. Just shows you got a ways to go, son. When Mi-chan pulled a little trick behind her back, I got excited, thinking she's going to do it again. When Keiji-san stopped the moment before touching the correct card, I thought he fell for it. He fell for it quite handedly. Huh? Hey, wait. All of them knew from the start and still got so excited so earnestly. Everyone got excited to make it more fun now. Damn, these, these, these are tough. They are tough. You. I agree with him. I agree with him. I agree with him. And the worst of all. Now then, Kei-chan, it's time for your penalty. Since it's your first day participating, I'll go easy, okay? It would be a problem if you refused to come to school. The other three members held down my arms and shoulders firmly, and it begins. The punishment. Me and approached. Licking her lips. Her right hand went to pull something out of her pocket. That's a felt it marker, and it's a giant, permanent one. Rest in peace, son. You, try, you tried your best. She took the cap off the marker and brought it slowly up to my face while I was immobilized. No, no. I let out my death throes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we will be calling it a day. He may have lost badly too. And it could definitely have gone better. And yeah, that's what I, that's literally what I'm gonna say. It definitely it could definitely have gotten better. <laughs> it's very much. Very much. It could definitely have gotten a lot, lot better, but it didn't. And when it doesn't go better. You just have to, you just have to take your loss, you take your loss in stride, and you learn from it. You learn from it a lot, because at the end of the day, it's your first day. If you don't learn from it, then that's when it becomes a problem, but you know at least how dangerous they are, how tricky they can become, and quite frankly, how they can read you. They can read you good, and the problem is, do you, do you outthink them? Do you try to outthink them, or do you outthink them by not outthinking them? And that's a very difficult concept. Do you take the double bluff, the triple bluff, maybe the quadruple bluff, or do you just go for the simple answer and read what you first thought the bluff would be? Difficult choices. Difficult choices. But regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I will be seeing you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out, and remember, never, never, ever, Take a bet against someone that destroys you the first time. Next time he knows not to bet against her, not to bet with her. It was his only option for victory, and he thought he did everything right. But at the end of the day, his bluff, his intellectual ways were all red. All red to perfection, and he lost. It's a sad, sad day for our boy. But you know what? Even from his darkest even from the darkest and lowest point in his life, he can get back to the top. And hopefully, by the end of Higurashi when they cry, he'll be the master at card games. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. 
Anyway, though, ladies and gentlemen, I will be seeing you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out and bye. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to check out Patreon to get one week early access as well as full length. But until next time everybody, peace out and have a nice day. Bye.